In December 2019, the Chinese authorities notified the world that the virus is spreading in their communities. In the following months, it spread to other countries with cases doubling within days. This virus is the severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus 2 that causes COVID-19 and which everyone calls it coronavirus. What really happens when you get it and what are the effects of it in our community for the past two years? Its main way of spreading is through droplet infection, when people cough and when you touch someone ill and then your face and let's say your eyes and nose. The virus starts its way here and it flows deeper into the body. Its destination are intestines, the spleen, or the lungs, where it can have the most dramatic effect. Even a coronavirus can cause a dramatic situation. The lungs are lined with billions of epithelial cells. These are the border cells of your lungs, running in your organs and mucosa waiting to be infected. The virus connects to a specific receptor and its victim membrane to inject its genetic material. Workers weren't able to provide for their families. Students need to drop out because they can't afford to buy things for only classes. COVID-19 affected the community has caused direct impacts on income due to premature deaths, workplace absenteeism, and reduction in productivity and has created a negative supply shock. With manufacturing productive activities slowing down due to global supply chain. Mandatory using of face masks when going outside. Implementation of social distancing. Getting people vaccinated. Mandatory quarantine. For the past two years, we have come together to stop the coronavirus from spreading. Though, many attempts failed. The vaccination of the countries of the world strengthened the hope of the people. Although, the pandemic is coming to an end, we should be grateful to the governments and the organizations that help us around it. Without them, this will not end.